Hey everybody, happy, happy Tuesday. Sorry, I just had food on my mouth. How are you guys doing today? Um, well, my mom is outside talking to one of her friends. So we're still doing the social distance. I'm about to get ready to cook some, there's some shrimp here. I have some chicken breast and some tacos. Open some fruit. I have some vegetables here. I'm about to get ready to do all of that. On yesterday, my mom made some ginger and garlic tea. What are you guys doing today? Um, this is actually for me. This is probably going to be about the second week that you know I've been in quarantine. Um, but just trying to just get back on the ball and make as many videos as I can. Come along, cause I'm getting ready to cook. Yeah. Good morning you guys it's another day yeah so on yesterday um i was cooking the food for dinner i didn't get a chance to finish recording because we had started having a meeting as a family and then and the day just got the rest of the um, the rest of the evening just got away from me but so every morning i get up i'm always just getting up and thanking god for another day for keeping me alive for keeping my family safe um, and I always open the blinds. That's just what I do. I don't know if I have any people that watch me if you are a believer in God. And if you're not, this is not a judgment, um, you know, channel. You know, you're going to live your life. You know, you believe what you believe. But as for me, um, personally, I know if I didn't have a faith in God, a foundation, um, it's easy to go crazy. And let's just talk about way before the COVID-19 ever began. Just everyday reality of life that stresses you, that aggravates you, that angers you, that have you feeling so many crazy emotions where it's just hard to hold on. So I've experienced that many, many, many times. And if I didn't have faith in God, I think a long time ago, I probably would have been dead from maybe committing suicide or just, um, get into things that would have turned my life down the path that I did not need to go to. On last night, we had, um, you know, a family gathering, you know, just like intermediate family. You know, my nephew, um, his name is Latour, my mom and dad, Ever, and myself. And we always sit down about what are our feelings about with the COVID-19. And my nephew, Latour, said something so profound. And I don't believe in that a child should be seen and not heard. I believe every child has something, no matter what the age are. Um, they have something very powerful. Okay, so in the last video clip, I was talking about the, um, my nephew, and I believe that all children should always be um, should always be seen and heard, not just that silly statement that says children should be seen and not heard. I am not a believer in that at all. I'm feeling sore as the COVID-19 and all the issues that are going around um, dealing with that, and everybody was expressing different things. That they felt and uh, I'm not gonna say what all everyone said because that's probably just stays between us but what my nephew said last night what the tour said last night you know really really um, it just made me think how young people his age his genre see things and I won't say everyone but he was talking about you know when he's talking on the phone to his friends and what they conversate about and when he was saying that we asked him well what do you feel about the coronavirus he said well it's nothing it's nothing new you know they're in a time where they're seeing so many things you know you hear this on the news you hear that you hear about crossing it you hear about people getting killed you hear about so many crazy 
things that they have seen and heard, nothing really surprises them. And it's very sad and, and just heartbreaking how they can just view life as something just negative always happening. And it's just hard, but when we can't live a life of peace, you know, as adults, period. And then we're always frantic and stressed and overwhelmed by ourselves because you have social media and you watch the news and how that just, and you know, um, impacts your mood, um, you know, any time of the day. And it's crazy. But for young people, all of them are different and not the same. And I'm not talking about race. I'm just talking about personalities. Some is to the point of depression and making them go crazy. Him and his friends, they look at him like, okay, well, you know, we're out of school. You know, they're not about to graduate right now, but they're like, okay, hey, you know, do a break out of school. So they're not worried about it. And um, I go talk to him, well, I understand that, you know, but there's a lot of other kids that really, really love school. It's heartbreaking for them because they miss school so much and they're not used to doing school online. For somebody that's homeschooled, it's just an everyday norm, it's nothing new. But for people that love and miss social interaction, it's, it, they, you know, they feel like their lives, their lives are going haywire because that's something that they are not used to. They're adjusting to it because it's not their normal way of living. And um, just for you to make, make that statement about, you know, they're just so used to seeing craziness every single day, it's like they can become numb to life circumstances that surrounds us and I'd really like to just you know get in his head and see what he feels and you know talk about issues because it's never good for anybody to hold things in you know nothing is ever going to be confronted nothing is ever going to change that person is never ever going to feel better or grow or have any kind of success in their life holding on to negative thoughts and feelings and um I love that our family, you know, we always coming together and talking about our issues. I love, love, love that. We did, did that as I was a little girl, and as we got older, you know, it kind of like broke off a little bit because everybody kind of went in their own directions. But I've always, like I said, I'm old school. I've always been a major fan of that because there's things that you have to talk about. You can talk about any and everything, but when there's things that hit home and things that affect your health and your mind, just make you feel sad and depressed. You don't have to go to a counselor, you need to get any medication if you just talk about your issues. And if a person has to go that route because it's that bad and you know the system that they can get, do what you have to do to help yourself. But just conversating, pulling your heart out to somebody that loves you, that cares, <clears throat> excuse me, that wants to hear your heart and not spread your business, that's not being nosy, but just genuinely have a heart of compassion to want to hear what you have to say, it could turn the most coldest and hardest of hearts to something beautiful, something something amazing, something that's lighthearted and happy and feeling free um, from bondage of just being depressed and oppressed because they feel like, well, nobody's going to listen to me, so they just shut down. But I'm glad that we always coming together and talking and dealing with the issues, no matter what the subject line is. He's on the phone. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> um, my daddy bought me some vegan vitamin C on yesterday. So it's this medication here. Citrus and I are not friends, so if like Derry and I do not get along. <laughs> hey y'all. Well, it's not cool. Cool. 